All right. Here's the fish pond. It's an Intec 629 gallon above ground swimming pool that I got off Amazon for $30. Take you inside the greenhouse. Watch out for the chicken. She's mean. Alright. So here's my aquaponics setup. Basically, from the fish tank, the water is pumped up here into this 100 foot flexible sewer pipe I got for 50 bucks at Home Depot. It's the pipe that does not have the holes in it. Be careful which one you buy if you do buy one. But it's a drip irrigation NFT system. So the pipe goes all the way around. There's 97 grow cups throughout the whole pipe. I didn't use all the 100 feet. It goes around. around. There's the rooster. <laughs> Keeps going around and around. Down and around. All the way back. So it goes back into the fish tank. Alright, so that's one system. The next system is all these pipes come up here into a flood and drain system. Let's see, there's the bell siphon. There's some lucky bamboo. And uh, got some sprouts starting to come up. I had to redo the whole system so I started over again. So just got some sprouts coming up. Nothing sprouted in the grow cups yet. And I've got some started right here that I'm going to plant soon enough. Also pipe from another pump coming from these pipes, which goes to here, which fills up the flood and drain bed. Also comes down here to the raft system. Alright, so I'll be planting these seeds into the raft system and whatever seeds don't come up for the drip irrigation system. So. I got 24 cups in the raft system. In each cup, I've got some gravel. These are little neoprene covers because I was having a real problem with algae. Also, if you look carefully, in each grow cup, the tube goes down into the rocks. If you don't let it go into the rocks and let it drip on top, you will get algae. So, this is my three in one aquaponics system the flood and drain, the raft system, and then the drip irrigation nutrient film technique system. Supposedly, if you put all three of them together, that works together the best so you can use up all the nutrients from the fish waste um, to get the full amount of nutrients that you need. So I have goldfish in the system right now. Hopefully one day I will have either tilapia or something I can eat. But this is the first video I've ever made for aquaponics. And um, if I had to recommend anything, I would start with the flood and drain system. I would not, if I had to do it again, I would not do the drip irrigation. It's just a beast to mess with. It's been a problem. I've been messing with it for almost a year now. It's really difficult. So I would try to either, you know... The Intex swimming pool is really working really well, no problems. I would definitely uh, either start with the raft system or the flood and drain. And you know the bell siphon, don't be afraid of that, it's really not that difficult. It's really pretty simple. 
If I had to show you one thing that's really good is how to fit it to the actual tank is to buy a one inch uni seal fitting and put a one inch PVC pipe in it and then the bell siphon is a two inch pipe and then the casing on the outside to prevent the rocks from going in with holes drilled into the sides so the water still gets in is a three inch. So one inch standpipe into a uni, one inch uni seal fitting to a two inch bell siphon to a three inch cover. So hopefully on my next video I will have many plants growing out of this. This is one little plant that just uh, I had in something else and I put it in there and it's not doing that great. But hopefully next time you will see all of this full of lettuce. So that's 97 grow cups, 24 cups in the raft system, and you know, a handful of seeds popping out all throughout the grow bed. Alright, well my name is Ben. I will be updating you next time, hopefully with a lot of lettuce. Thanks.